so we got our new little bush hog thingy down here we're using it uh this thing is a monster i like it it's kind of difficult to use i'm still getting the hang of it but i think once we get it kind of figured out it'll be nice to use it whenever it says right here the breed discharge area stay back 200 feet it literally means stay back 200 feet it'll throw it really really far and uh, i did hit a stick with it earlier in the right spot and it just chucked it across the field but i'll set you guys up somewhere around here and you can watch it for a minute while i fish up this ditch bank here and uh yeah it's pretty nice though i mean obviously as you can tell it just absolutely destroys it that's what it looked like before down there so i don't know i'm still trying to get the hang of it a little bit uh i gotta go back to the farm here soon because we have to sell a trailer to ethan so yeah i'll set you guys up here and let you guys just kind of watch uh, i'll probably try and put it up here on the boom or something so then you can see it throwing it out and cutting and everything pretty cool i like it though uh dad asked me if he bought it if i'd use it and i said sure why not so i mean it works pretty good i don't know it'll, it'll be interesting to see once we get up to like russellville and everything because we're gonna try and cut down some of the tree branches along the ditch banks so then we can get our heads around easier but i don't know It'll be interesting to see in the fact about her, what it can do you can reach down into the bottom of the ditch but as far as being like an actual mower like right there no it's it's not a mower uh, it's more for getting in the bottom of ditches and sewers and stuff like that and trying to really whack that stuff out uh, main reason we got it is for like I said helping us to move equipment around because we got a lot of places where it's hard to get equipment in and out of the fields because of like ditches and yeah brushing the ditches and everything else plus we got all these irrigations and a lot of times you'll have irrigations get tangled up in the brush so this will help with that hopefully and uh, i don't know we'll just have to see there's a there's more brush on the ditch bank across the road here we'll go over there and i'll show you guys a little bit more of what i can do it's kind of an interesting tool in the fact no matter of what it is but really not much to it uh it's just a blade that spins around it's basically a bush hog put on an excavator the other problem i have with it is is you gotta hold that over the entire time to spin it so i don't know i might try and find a button or something figure out another way to do it because that's kind of annoying but we'll figure it out i think where we're gonna see the most use out of this thing is in places like this where we had cleared trees out and there's stumps in here because we're gonna run our bush hog through here or 20 foot bush hawk through here and destroy the bush hawk trying to drag it through all this stuff so this thing will work really good for that as far as like not tearing this thing up because obviously this thing's pretty heavy built so i don't know 
I like it. I'm having fun using it, so we'll see. So we're back out on the mini today. Uh, yeah, tractor got good right now. Gonna go over there along the highway and try and clean all this up along this ditch bank. Make it look pretty. Uh, I cleaned up on both both on the other side and it looks a lot better. I'm actually happy with it, so yeah. Um, we're gonna try and clean some stuff up here and then I'll set you guys up on like a time lapse or something. Give you guys a little bit of a before and after. If it's that bad, it doesn't look like it's that bad from here, but it's hard to tell them. But these, some of these ditch banks out here, really the highway is supposed to take care of them, and they really don't. They do a horrible job at it, and they get really grown up and they grow trees and stuff like that, like what's growing in that fence row there. But that fence row, it's stuck in the fence row, so it grew up through the fence row. So now we got like take down the fence if we want to get that out but this field here we just bought like a couple years ago it's only like 17 acres i think so maybe that's something we can do one day is take out this fence row or something but really we need to do something out here and try to clean it up a little bit yeah you can see there's trees and stuff growing on up there i'll clean them up whenever i come back i really want to get down here to this ditch bank though first oh my I, I am honestly kind of liking this thing. It's a lot of fun to run. Uh, it makes mowing a lot more fun too. So, yeah. Looks like the fence ends right here, I think. Yeah, so we'll be able to get down in there. That was the other thing I was kind of worried about is where that fence goes. I did get a fence wrapped up in it earlier. Not fun. It was not fun at all to clean out. Just an FYI, if you get one of these, it's not fun to clean a fence out of it. This one is a blue diamond too. I'm not sure if I said that or not. Uh, really, it was pretty fairly priced. We got it from Hudson down in Jasper, so. Yeah, you gotta watch out for these fence rows. They'll sneak up on them. So anyways, here's what all this looks like before. We're kinda running over it right now. It'll make it a little bit harder to clean up, but it'll be okay. this up right here too all this stuff you can't get with a bush hog and then uh, yeah I'll show you guys what it looks like after Too bad for a bush hog on a, on a excavator, we'll say. But, anyways, yeah, this is our new mower. Um, it's fancy, it's also very expensive, but it's a lot of fun to run. Oh, somebody threw a root beer out here. So, I would go over there, but that's a sketchy situation. 
I don't want to cross this either. And plus, that's a long story. One of my friends got in the wreck there. So, um, yeah. Oh, well. Is what it is. But anyways, we're going to get back to it. I'm going to take a thumbnail picture right about there, I think. And then, uh, yeah. We'll get back to work with it. Have some fun. I love this thing. It's a lot of fun. So, anyways... This is kind of one of the my favorite things about this thing at least. See I can reach all the way down there and I get all that brush on the bottom of that pitch in the dirt too. It's not really recommended to get the dirt, but you know it kind of happens. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and track up a little bit. Clean this up. ditch banks out here they're not in the greatest condition to begin with uh, some of them need like this side right here where you can see it's been washed around and there's a ledge right there that really needs to be taken out it'll probably just come back but it is what it is this is kind of one of the smaller parts of the ditch this is this ditch is called beak ditch um, yeah so we gotta check with them before we do some of this stuff make sure that everything's gonna be okay and they're gonna get us in trouble Yeah. 